play players receiving benefits could impact college basketball immediately 123 Dan Dakic reacts to the report that an FBI probe into college basketball reveals potential violations from schools including Duke, North Carolina and Kentucky. 123 players from more than 20 Division I men's basketball programs have been identified as possibly breaking NCAA rules through violations that were uncovered by the FBI's investigation into corruption in the sport, according to documents published by Yahoo Sports. Schools identified by Yahoo as having players who possibly violated NCAA rules include Duke, North Carolina, Texas, Kentucky, Michigan State, Southern California and Kansas. At least 25 players are linked to impermissible benefits, including Michigan State's Miles Bridges, Alabama's Colin Sexton and Duke's Wendell Carter. A comprehensive breakdown of the players, coaches, teams and more implicated in the scandal engulfing college basketball. The documents obtained by Yahoo detail the work of former NBA agent Andy Miller and his agency, ASM Sports. Yahoo reports that the documents which include paperwork from 2015 through 2017 show cash advances as well as entertainment and travel expenses paid for college prospects and their families. ESPN previously reported that as many as three dozen Division I programs, including many of the sport's traditional powers, might be facing NCAA sanctions once the FBI releases information it acquired during its investigation. A source familiar with the investigation which includes more than 4,000 conversations intercepted through wiretaps and financial records, emails and other records seized from Miller's office had told ESPN's Mark Schlerbach that many of the sport's top coaches and players might be implicated, calling Miller's records the NCAA's worst nightmare. The list of schools identified in the FBI probe, as reported by Yahoo Sports, is divided into three distinctions players who received impermissible benefits and preferential treatment, players identified in expense reports by former ASM employee Christian Dawkins and players who met with Dawkins. Some schools appear in multiple categories. Potential impermissible benefits and preferential treatment for players and families including schools that had players who received $10,000 or more in questionable benefits Duke, North Carolina, Texas, Kentucky, Michigan State, USC, Alabama, NC State, Seton Hall, LSU, Maryland, Washington schools named in Dawkins' expense reports seeking reimbursement for thousands of dollars he reported as being paid to college and high school players and their families South Carolina, Louisville, Utah, Xavier, Wichita State, Clemson, Kansas, Michigan State, USC, Texas, Texas schools that had a player a player's family listed as meeting with Dawkins, Alabama, Notre Dame, Vanderbilt, Iowa State, Duke, Kentucky, North Carolina, Creighton, Texas, Virginia schools with active players implicated Alabama, Colin Sexton, Duke, Wendell Carter, Kentucky, Kevin Knox, Michigan State, Miles Bridges, South Carolina, Brian Bowen, Texas, Eric Davis, Jr. USC Benny Boatwright schools with former players implicated Clemson, Creighton, Iowa State, Kansas, Louisville, LSU, Maryland, NC State, North Carolina, Notre Dame, Seton Hall, Utah, Vanderbilt, Virginia, Washington, Wichita State, Xavier Friday's report from Yahoo begins to name the teams and players allegedly involved. At least six players were identified in the documents as receiving payments exceeding $10,000. They include Dallas Mavericks point guard Dennis Smith Jr., who received $73,500 in loans from ASM before he played for NC State Brooklyn Nets shooting guard Isaiah Whitehead, who received more than $37,000 around the time he was a freshman at Seton Hall in 2017 No. 1 NBA draft pick Markle Fultz, who received $10,000. Other teams with current to former players who allegedly received payments were South Carolina, Louisville, Utah, Xavier, Wichita State, Clemson, and Alabama. Other players named include former LSU guard Tim Quarterman, former Maryland center Diamond Stone, and former Kentucky center Edris Bam Adebayo. These allegations, if true, point to systematic failures that must be fixed and fixed now if we want college sports in America, NCAA President Mark Emmett said in a statement Friday. Simply put, people who engage in this kind of behavior have no place in college sports. They are an affront to all those who play by the rules. Emmett noted that the formation of an independent commission on college basketball this past October intended to provide recommendations on cleaning up the sport. With these latest allegations, it's clear this work is more important now than ever, the NCAA president said. Utah Athletic Director Chris Hill agreed to those points in a statement Friday.
Unethical agents have been an issue in college athletics, particularly men's basketball and football, for many years, despite repeated educational efforts by the schools, Hill's statement said. Personally, I welcome the scrutiny on the sport of men's basketball because the behavior of some agents, along with reports of other illegal recruiting activities, is hurting the sport. Coach Larry Kristkoff Yak has a great deal of integrity and runs a clean program, but this situation shows there are areas outside a coach's control that need to be fixed. Kentucky, South Carolina, NC State, Clemson, USC, Maryland, Wichita State, Washington and Xavier all issued statements saying they would cooperate with authorities. Wildcats coach John Calipari denied having any relationship with Miller or his associates, nor utilized any agent to provide any financial benefits to a current or former Kentucky student-athlete. UK Athletic Director Mitch Barnhart and University President Eli Kapalatu said there also would be an internal review. Seton Hall also said it would conduct an internal review despite not having been contacted by investigators. NC State AD Debbie Yao said the university dissociated itself from Miller in 2012, sending a 10-year dissociation letter to the agent and his businesses. Better cited NCAA reports that indicated Miller worked closely with an AAU coach, which creates a vulnerability for the school that we cannot tolerate. Xavier coach Chris Mack, in a statement to Yahoo, also said he has no relationship with Miller or any of his associates. Beyond that, our staff has never created a path for him to foster a relationship with any of our student-athletes while enrolled at Xavier, Mack said. I have a suggestion that I or anyone on my staff utilized Andy Miller to provide even the slightest of financial benefits to a Xavier student-athlete is grossly misinformed. The FBI has been investigating college basketball bribes and corruption for at least two years. Last week, a federal judge in New York declined to dismiss criminal indictments against Adidas executives James Gatto and Merle Code, as well as Christian Dawkins, a runner who worked for Miller's ASM Sports. The men are among 10 people who were charged with wire fraud in September after the government accused them of funneling money from Adidas to the families of high-profile recruits. Their trial is scheduled to begin October 1st. Also last week, the U.S. Attorney's Office in New York dropped federal charges against Jonathan Brad Augustin, a former AAU director in Orlando, Florida, who had been accused of conspiring with the others to persuade two high school players to sign with Louisville and one with Miami. We use cookies to offer an improved online experience. By clicking OK without changing your settings you are giving your consent to receive cookies.